Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of JDoodle and Coding Bat, two websites that we are going to use for this course. Now, to write, compile, and execute Java programs, you can do it in two ways. Either you can have the compiler and the IDE installed on your own computer, and you can write code there and compile it. Now, that is usually a little bit difficult for students who are getting started because installation and making sure that your code compiles it has a little bit of overhead and that actually deters a lot of students from actually learning how to code. Now, if you want to write big programs, of course, you will have to learn how to install Eclipse and know how to use it. Now, but for the small, kind of small programs that we are going to study in this particular course, because this is a beginner's course in Java, I recommend that you use an online compiler. Now, an online compiler is very easy and all that you have to do is write a little bit of code and because a whole bunch of stuff is taken care for you, it'll just execute automatically when you click a button. So in this particular course, I'm going to use jdoodle. So you can see the URL there, jdoodle.com, online Java compiler. If you search online Java compilers free on Google, you will find a whole bunch of others. Now, if you go to jdoodle, this is how the website will look like. You can create an account or you may not even create an account. It will still help you execute a bunch of code. Okay. So here is a code that is always available. Now, there is a button here which can make, which will help you make it interactive and execute um, the code and also help you give arguments and st stuff like that. Now, if you click execute, but you will see that the code actually executes and will print out the result. Now we don't have to understand how this code works for now, but basically it's X and Y, these are two numbers and we're adding them and we're printing out the result. So you see X is 10, Y is 25 and it executes and gives you 35. If we change say X to 20, all that you have to do is click execute and you will see that will give you the result, x plus y is 45. So this is very easy and say you make an error, okay? And for the, at this time, you don't know what this code is because you haven't learned any kind of Java, but that's not important. But say you make this kind of error, okay? That semicolon is needed, you don't put it. You click execute, it'll take some time to error run and then it will say what the error is, okay? So this kind of error is also available when you run your code on your own machine, but writing, when you're learning how to write your first pieces of code, there's a lot of overhead. And that is why I always recommend that you start off by using some online compiler like this. Okay, so this is very good to get started. Okay, so this is one place where you can write your own code. Now the other website that we are going to use for this particular course is Coding Bat. It's a great website and this is the website that you are going to use for your problems as well. And this is where your evaluation is going to also happen. So Coding Bat has Java as well as Python in it. We are going to mainly focus on Java in this course. So you can create an account and you will have to create an account. There's option to give an email, password, and basically create an account. And this is website is awesome, actually. So let's go in here. So warm up. If you use the H in here, it'll mean that there is a hint and the problem is already solved. So it's pretty easy. So it'll actually help you get started in the beginning. So let's maybe go to this problem, monkey trouble. Now, if you click it, what you will see is it'll tell you what the problem is. Okay. Now, and then it'll give you something that's already written, okay? And all that you have to do is you have to write the main structure or the main piece of code. You don't have to worry about any of the overhead. Now, because this is a warm-up problem, actually give you the solution, which is great. So let, let us just copy the solution for now, okay? Copy this entire solution, and I am going to just paste it here, okay? Now, if you click the button go, you would see that it will tell you whether your solution is correct or not. So you see it has a bunch of cases and if your 
code passes through all those test cases, it will give you all correct. Okay, so now let me show you what happens if, say, whatever you've done is not correct. So instead of true here, I'm just going to write false. Okay, and I'm just going to run this code. You will see that it fails. Okay, so it says that the code did not pass. Okay, so this is a great website which will tell you if your code is correct or not. You can run your code, finish it, and that will be awesome. So see, I can change this code back. Okay, it's true, I compile go, give me all correct. Now, if I go back to warm up, you will see that there is a green tick beside these two. That just means that I have solved those two problems. Okay, so if there's H beside any problem, it will tell you that that's a hint or actually the solution itself and you can use it to, to learn what you are making, where you're making a mistake, okay? So these are warm-up problems. Now, if I go back to Java, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of different problems. And in this course, you will actually work on a bunch of these different problems as part of your evaluation and to get your certificate. And it's very easy. As I told you, you just have to focus on writing the main portion of the code. So in this video, I just introduced JDoodle and Coding Bat to you. Once you explore it, you will understand it better. But the important thing that you can take away from this is you, you can write your code online itself. And that would be great uh, for this per for learning Java and also be very useful for you to understand if you where you're making mistakes. Thank you for watching.